Brethren, have you seen the inscription behind the pulpit on which I stand? The Colossus Church rendered the first say, I have come by myself, I have come to die no more, I have come sending no one, not to die as the people of the world assume, my people sing and rejoice for I the Lord and glorified. The second chorus was rendered in English and it a yoy for a bag I tell. I can't even my bed by Beth Moses. He might be Obufa Ibet. The third spirit of chorus interprets the door. A new covenant I have brought abide in love without strife abide in law. In the name of Jesus Christ. <coughs> Could I find this me? First lesson should be read. Trust his 
looking right into the nerve print that was created on his pants and into his driven side. Thomas at that juncture of hell. Lord, I now believe. The Lord Jesus Christ answered and said, Have you now believed? Blessed is he who yet not and yet believes. The city is dead. Why do so many of you always argue? I want to go and see him by myself. What is it that you want to see? You see, in that, you look at him and I'm his own son. Why is it that you do not accept to be baptized? Because messengers were sent unto you in line with the instructions of our Lord Jesus Christ when he had said, Go ye therefore and make all nations my disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. For behold, I am with you, even unto the end of the world. He called us a man who was a son. When the word of God is pronounced, it utters out, lands on the earth, the weight of it breaks all kinds of barriers and rocks, and finally, the will of God is fulfilled. And young mission, a year better, a year class, a year better, can't you see? Amen. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but the word of God shall not go unfulfilled. He named me, and young mission, making well. As a man, when heaven and earth did not exist, God did exist. When the Holy Bible was not yet put down, God had existed. When the words we are speaking now were not made manifest to you, God had existed. Therefore, brethren, he whom we have in our midst today is not a stranger to us. Rather, we are his strangers. There is no need to argue or plead any analogy that you've never heard of him, it has never been preached to you about him, never seen him. For as far as he is concerned, he is known throughout the world. The whites know him, the blacks know him, the colored races of the world know him throughout the continents of the world. He is known wherever man is found. And the second answer is the Bible yes. says that what was done to the Israelites would be done unto the Gentiles. He has given us a guide by way of an instruction that on his second coming into the world that every person shall know him from the least to the greatest from the very great to the small, from the young, the minor, to the adult, the old, would know him that 
one person will not tell another, Know ye God, for every person shall know him all over the world. I Brethren, what did the gospel of last night advise? It advised us that we should not ask who shall ascend into the heavens, bring down the Lord Jesus Christ, or who would descend into the abyss of Hades and also bring him up for men to see and that the word is very close to us, close to our hearts, than our tongue is to the teeth, and that it is through the mouth that we speak, we confess what we believe in the heart, and that whosoever believes that the Lord Jesus Christ is the Son of God in his heart and confesses with his mouth that he is the Son of God, such and one is saved. So many of you have claimed if I were to have lived during the time of the Lord Jesus Christ, I would have been with him, I would have been one of his disciples, I would have served him, I would have stayed around him, followed him. But I want you to understand that it is never too late to mend. There is still opportunity open up for you because before now, he had existed. Before the advent of the Lord Jesus Christ, he had been there. During his time he existed. After his death, resurrection and ascension, he still exists. He exists until this moment. And so the opportunity is still left open for you. <laughs> We have not come to preach the word of God. We have not come only to preach the word of God to you. But we have come to reveal the glory of God throughout the whole wide world. And also to state the fact that there is one shepherd and one flock in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. It is said that many are called, but few are chosen. We call the book of me, and my book of me, a yard in our feet. Kimi woman at the gamma, Yakimi and Mare, I can have a good year of us, and we can be our son. Get our son, I didn't get it once. Need our car, who would be my man, my friend, you give them for the book. You have been told severally, it has been revealed to you equally, that you are God's child. Before you were born, all these things were known, were made known to you, while even in your mother's womb, it is no longer strange, and it is common knowledge that as God's child, that God has come, and that you, who is owned by God, need no story to believe these things, and that God Father has come, and has taught everyone, and that we should all accept and believe in him. In me, 
because there are a lot of persons who have not accepted, who have not heard, who have not understood, and uh, have had in their hearts against believing in the things that have been said over the years. Because judgment has come, and judgment will soon come, so that every person that does iniquity involves in it, and all sort like creation would be judged and exterminated from the kingdom of God and completely cast out, so that the kingdom of God will be devoid of evil. You find that people are still engaged in all kinds of misbehavior, which shows that they have not accepted, they have not heard, they have not listened, they have not believed in the word of God, and have not also repented. If the end of the time comes, if the end of the world comes, and judgment is visited upon the earth, what would be the situation of the world? It will be understood that nobody will be found worthy to be passed into the new world because of the level of man's iniquity.
The Bible says, and let us create man in our own image and after our likeness, in the likeness of God, man was created. And you find that all of you are God, all of you put together, you are that same God. Brethren, you've listened to the first lesson it has advised that you should make peace with every person. Reconcile yourself with the adversaries, people you have had in mind, born malice against and grudges, you have quarreled with them, you hated them. The Bible has advised that you should reconcile with them, reconcile with every person, love everyone. Bear no grudges against people and bear no malice against people in your heart. At all times, you are expected to be in peace and harmony with all human beings around you. Love every person, be humble to one another, show concern and respect for each other and be truthful to one another. For there is nothing like fetish and charm and diabolical thing. There is nothing like ghost, mammoth and the rest of those things which are named you alone exist. So can you do when in the female when Baba Brethren, there is no perfume here, there is no candle here, there is no incense, there is no kind of thing whatsoever. We don't worship a tree or trees. We worship our Father, which is in heaven. All the inhabitants of the world, you worship trees, worship fish, worship mountains and hills and caves, worship stones, you worship man, you worship money, you worship food. But here we worship God, because God alone exists. We have come so that you might worship that our Father, who is in heaven, and who alone rules over all things and all creations, rules over man, the fishes, the animals, the creeping things, things that fly. Brethren, from the time of Adam through the age, the time, the era of Moses and the rest of the great fetters and fathers of old and great prophets, these did not know God. But you have known him, you've seen him, and once you believe in him, you stand saved in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. It is said, Blessed are they who do not see and yet believe. There is no church in existence. There is no prayer house in existence. Politics does not also exist. There is only one God in existence who does all these works throughout the world. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ.
In the beginning, God created one person and instructed, he commanded, go ye therefore and multiply and replenish the earth. That same one person is still in existence till this. If you worship man, it means you worship God. You worship God, it means you have worship man. And they get a problem for me. You go to the world, you go to the world. If you deviate from this divine instruction of worshiping God and also verily worshiping man, it means you have perished. To me, hell is on the Thank you, I stand here on the highest heavens and declare this word to you on all planes of existence, on all the worlds and planets and universes and the things that dwell within them have heard this word and they have known about it. Brethren, I want you to realize that we do not worship money here. We don't worship diabolical things. We, we don't look for money, right? Either. Money looks for us. Money was made for us to use. Thank you, the whole earth has been created and all things within it for us to make use of them. And I want you to realize that the son of a king is a king himself being a prince. And uh, I want you to realize that the son of a millionaire is a millionaire by birth because he belongs to the millionaire. And we, don't, we do not need to put ourselves and put our little heads over all these things. All we have to do is to love every person as we are loved by God. So, we have an intention to take you forward that the second lesson should now be read. Then Jesus said Almighty, the joy you made on door, you had a man or ten door. And you imagine one made the bad that said, My do, you know, you go, you said, Come back, my door on door, you had a man or ten door. Go on, mommy, come attend the park. Go on, my do, come and come here, my angel. And you went in the door, but. Our second Bible lesson once again is recorded in God's plan of him to send you. Chapter 20, verse 34 to 36. And Jesus asked me and said unto them, The children of this world marry, and I give you in marriage. But they which should be accounted worthy to obtain that world, and the resurrection from the dead, neither marry. No, I've given in marriage. Neither can they die anymore, for they are the fallen to the angels, and are the children of God, being the children of the resurrection. This is the name of God.
And so, if you claim that the other man is a, a brother, you claim the wrong form, you claim a lot of things, and then goes the man who is hungry, he has no food, he has no clothing, he has no dwelling, and you have all these things to offer and you've not given him. Not giving him food, he's not giving him money, he's not, he's not giving him shelter, he's not covered his nakedness, you don't respect him, you don't love him, you don't extend your own hand to fellowship to him. What is it that you are doing? And the next thing you say is that he is not of your stock, he doesn't come from your village, he doesn't belong where you fall to, he's not of your activity. What are you talking about? And what has activity got to do with the norm that God has established, that we love everyone. God knows us as His children, irrespective of how numerous we are, irrespective of the language we speak, the color we bear, where we come from, the nativity we take. So no one bothers God. And that is why He doesn't look at us as white, or Europeans, or Americans, or Asians, or Africans, or people from the Caribbean. He does not look at us as black or African or whatever you want to call it. He looks at all that things because of children, a people of God, owned by God, that we are glad to extend His love to every person as those who are owned by Him. If we are able to do this, we are acting according to the instructions of God. You are the same thing in Okay. He will get in. That's one thing. I said all the nice from people chapter 13, one to three. Are you only saying if I do a film with my people? Yeah. Who can tell you? Well, the school where my enemy is on them, they got the internet to be a hotel. In my name, they got the temple for me. They got the temple in money, they could do it. Young people, they can be coming. I want them. I want them to see that. Amen. Our second witness is from Acts chapter 2, verse 1 to 3. Let brotherly love continue. Be not forgetful to retain strangers, therefore, for thereby some have entertained strangers on our way. Remember then that our in Rome have bound with them, and then we suffer adversity, as we will serve also in, in the God of the kingdom of Shall all men know that ye are my disciples, 
If you have love one to another, in the name of the Lord Jesus.
Don't all other, some other persons lay claim to a lot of other things which they say they have done. But I want to take that. Irrespective of these and other claims you make, whatever things you claim to have been done by you, it would amount to a great loss if you do not, if you do not love one another. So I Brethren, uh, when people begin to boast and shout and exchange things and trees for persons that have found and have done some wonderful feats, maybe they say somebody has died before they, and the other man caused him to rise from death. That's a blatant lie. He has not been able to do anything. He's not the one who has done it. Is it not God that has caused that man to rise from death? This preaching, is he not the one preaching? And these other miracles, is he not the one behind the screen doing everything? He is the one doing all the things you see. No man does anything. So, God has also told you that 
We should show the expression of love to every person at all times. Whatever post you make, that you have a lot of money, you claim you have many children, you also claim you are beautiful or handsome, you have made a lot of other claims, also that you are knowledgeable or intelligent, you have a lot of wisdom in you, whatever, whatever of these and other claims you, you uphold makes no sense. It is nullity. It is not on board. It's a bundle of emptiness. It's just like adding two zeros together and the result remains zero. So, yeah, okay. Yeah, we don't go.
Ima, Ufo Ima, Ete, Ye, Akara, Ufo Ima, Oh, no, no, no. 
from verse 44 to 45. For I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that bless you, and pray for them which despise you, you and persecute you. That ye may be the children of your Father who is in heaven. For he may get his son to rise from the evil and on the good, and send his rain from the just and on the unjust. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. My second Bible verse is recorded in Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 20, verse 34 to 36. And Jesus answering said unto them, The children of this world marry and are given in marriage. But that which shall be accounted worthy to obtain that world and the resurrection from the dead, neither marry nor are given in marriage. Neither can they die any more, for they are equal unto the angels and are the children of God, being the children of the resurrection. This is the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the closing text is structured from St. John Gospel chapter 13, reading at the 34 to 35. A new commandment give I unto you, that you love one another, as I have loved you, that you also love one another. And this man shall all, by thee shall all men know that ye are my disciples. If you have love, you are not in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ.
Matthew says the inscription behind the pulpit on which I stand, the Colossus Church rendered the first say, I have come by myself, I have come to die no more, I have come sending no one, not to die as the people of the world assume, my people sing and rejoice for I the Lord am glorified. The second chorus was rendered in English and it a young boy back again. I can be better my bed by Beth Moses. He might be Obufa Ibet. The third spiritual chorus interprets the door. A new covenant I have brought abide in love without strife, abide in law. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. <coughs> Could I buy this for you? First lesson should be read. A powerful point. What if you don't care what man? You will be too soon. A comment for us here, by now. Go ahead for this. Comment here, by you. And you are in your own point here. The man that's from you. Anyway, from a coming, you're not going to say, Yes, 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 you do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which especially use you and persecute you. That ye may be the children of your Father who is in heaven. For he may turn the sun to rise on the evil and on the good, and send the rain on the just and on the unjust. In the name of God, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Christ and our best set. Over 
and thrust his fingers into the nerve prints that was created on his palms and into his driven side. Thomas at that juncture of hell, Lord, I now believe. The Lord Jesus Christ answered and said, Have you now believed? Blessed is he who seeth not and yet believes. And she didn't die. Why do so many of you always argue? I want to go and see him by myself. What is it that you want to see? You see me that? You look at me. I know it's so much of you. God. I cannot pray for the living. Why is it that you do not accept to be baptized? Because messengers were sent unto you in line with the instructions of our Lord Jesus Christ when he had said, Go ye therefore and make all nations my disciples, baptizing them. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, for behold, I am with you, even unto the end of the world. He called us a man who is shot. Open me for it, When the word of God is pronounced, it utters out, lands on the earth, the weight of it breaks all kinds of barriers and rocks. And finally, the will of God is fulfilled. Amen. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but the word of God shall not go unfulfilled. When heaven and earth did not exist, God did exist. When the Holy Bible was not yet put down, God had existed. When the words we are speaking now were not made manifest to you, God had existed. Therefore, Therefore, brethren, he whom we have in our midst today is not a stranger to us. Rather, we are his strangers. There is no need there is no need to ask you or plead any analogy that you never heard of him, it has never been preached to you about him, never seen him. For as far as he is concerned, he is known throughout the world. The whites know him, the blacks know him, the colored races of the world know him throughout the continents of the world. He is known wherever man is found. And the second I'm going to say, Bible says that what was done to the Israelites would be done unto the Gentiles. I'm not the guy can be more. He has given us a guide by way of an instruction that on his second coming into the world that every person shall know him from the least to the greatest, from the very great to the small, from the young, the minor, to the adult, the old, would know him that 
one person will not tell another, Know ye God, for every person shall know him all over the world.
because there are a lot of persons who have not accepted, who have not heard, who have not understood, and uh, have hardened their hearts against believing in the things that have been said over the years. Because judgment has come, and judgment will soon come, so that every person that does iniquity involves in it, and all sort of like creation would be judged and exterminated from the kingdom of God and completely cast out so that the kingdom of God will be devoid of evil. You find that people are still engaged in all kinds of misbehavior, which shows that they are not accepted, have not heard, have not listened, have not believed in the word of God, and have not also repented. If the end of the time comes, if the end of the world comes, and judgment is visited upon the earth, what would be the situation of the world? It will be understood that nobody will be found worthy to be passed into the new world because of the level of man's iniquity. <laughs> Brother, I want you to realize that as far as soul is concerned, you have to have a change of heart. A change of heart is expected that you should look at the first lesson, the content of the first lesson of this gospel that has been joined, that you should live in peace with people. And there lies the fact that if you have quarrel with people, they are born malice against others, if they have crushed people. This is an opportunity for you to go and make amends with your ways of life. Go and make amends, reconcile yourself and be in peace with people who have hitherto been your adversaries. So that you escape the judgment of God, it does not end there. You are expected also to run away from all appearances of evil. All the evils you have done in the past, you have to forego them. Stealing and fornication, idolatry, diabolical practices, having a million chant and spotlight things on you, eating of fish and meat, engaging in litigation, suing people to court at all times, quarreling, very small hating people, all these kinds of things you've been doing. You are expected to give up all these misbehaviors so that you escape the wrath of God. I drive you well, we blow you well. Amen. There is neither black nor white, there is neither man nor woman, there is not neither great nor small, there is neither minor nor adult, there is neither slave nor born, there is neither there is a free nor there is there is no division of any kind. We are all one in the Father. We are all children of the Father. You know, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to me, Allah. Can you be in it? Doubt me no more, for I am the one. Glory to me, Allah. Glory to me, Allah. Can you be in it? Do not seek for him any longer. Seek for me no longer, doubt him no more, for you are the one. I found out in a case of a young show, I can't remember a young show came on. I said, I will go out and go in, you become a little book and move up. You have to be able to do it. Yeah, you have to be able to do it. When you are sent into space, and the travel the bread and leg of the sun to move into the waters and the Atlantis is in search for him. What are you looking for in these places? When you are talking about God, are you not the manifestation of God? All of you here. I tell you, I mean, you know what can you get in there? 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 Can you get in there?
The Bible says, and let us create man in our own image and after our likeness, in the likeness of God, man was created. And you find that all of you are God. All of you put together, you are that same God. Brethren, you've listened to the false message that advised that you should make peace with every person. Reconcile yourself with the adversaries, people you have had in mind, born malice against and grudges, you have quarreled with them, you hated them. The Bible has advised that you should reconcile with them, reconcile with every person, love everyone. Bear no grudges against people and bear no malice against people in your heart. At all times, you are expected to live in peace and harmony with all human beings around you. Love every person, be humble to one another, show concern and respect for each other and be truthful to one another. For there is nothing like fetish and charm and diabolical thing. There is nothing that goes to Muhammad and the rest of those things which are named you alone exist. So, can the little one, insensitive one, the female one, Baba Brethren, there is no perfume here, there is no candle here, there is no incense, there is no kind of thing whatsoever. We don't worship a tree or trees. We worship our Father, which is in heaven. All inhabitants of the world, you worship trees, worship fish, worship mountains and hills and caves, worship stones, you worship man, you worship money, you worship food. But here we worship God, because God alone exists. And we have come. We have come so that you might worship that our Father, which is in heaven. And who alone rules over all things and all creations, rules over man, the fishes, the animals, the creeping things, things that fly. Brethren, from the time of Adam through the age, the time, the era of Moses and the rest of the great pictures and powers of old good prophets, these did not know God. But you have known him, you've seen him, and once you believe in him, you stand saved. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. It is said, blessed are they who do not see and yet believe. There is no church in existence, there is no prayer house in existence, politics does not also exist. There is only one God in existence who does all these works throughout the world. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ. In the beginning, 
God created one person and instructed, he commanded, go ye therefore and multiply and replenish the earth. Power the Amen. That same one person is still in existence till this. If you worship man, it means you worship God. If you worship God, it means you have worship man. And if you get a problem for me, you go to the world, you go to the world. If you deviate from this divine instruction of worshiping God and also verily worshiping man, means you are perished. Me, hell you want to hear. Go to your food, then you get the living cat. Thank you, Father. Amen. I stand here on the highest heavens and declare this word to you and all planes of existence and all the world and planets and universes and the things that dwell within them have heard this word and they have known about it. Brethren, I want you to realize that we do not worship money here. We don't worship diabolical things. We, we don't look for money, right? Either. Money looks for us. Money was meant for us to use. Thank you, the whole earth has been created and all things within it for us to make use of them. And I want you to realize that the son of a king is a king himself being a prince. And uh, I want you to realize that the son of a millionaire is a millionaire by birth because he belongs to the millionaire. And we, don't, we do not need to put ourselves and put our little heads over all these things. All we have to do is to love every person and we are loved by God. So we have no intention to take you further. The second lesson should now be read. I was there. I don't 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 Jesus said, Almighty, the joy you don't know. You are that man or tender. I am our second Bible lesson once again is recorded in God's plan of intercession to you, chapter 20, verse 34 to 36. And Jesus asked and said unto them, The children of this world marry, and I give you in marriage. But there we should be accounted worthy to obtain that world, and the resurrection from the dead. Neither marry, nor have given in marriage. Neither can they die anymore, for they are the fallen to the angels, and are the children of God, being the children of the resurrection. This is the name of God. Amen.
and that is the Son of God. All of us belong to the same stock. We are not known by our nomenclature as the geographical location of the world we fall into. We are known by just one title, children of God. We are owned by God. And so, if you claim that the other man is a uh, brother, you claim the love of God, you claim a lot of things, and then goes the man who is hungry, he has no food, he has no clothing, he has no dwelling, and you have all these things to offer and he's not given him. He's not given him food, he's not given him money, he's not, he's not given him shelter, he's not covered his nakedness, you don't respect him, you don't love him. You don't extend your own hands to fellowship to him. What is it that you are doing? And the next thing you say is that he is not of your stock. He doesn't come from your village, he doesn't belong where you fall to. He's not of your activity. What are you talking about? And what has activity got to do with the norm? What has God has established? That we love everyone. God knows us as his children, irrespective of how numerous we are, irrespective of the language we speak. The color we bear, where we come from, the nativity we take, no one bothers God. And that is why he doesn't look at us as white, or European, or American, or Asian, or African, or people from the Caribbean, the not look at us as black, or African, or whatever you want to call. He looks at all that things because of children, a people of God, owned by God, and that's why we have extended his love to every person as those who are owned by him. If we are able to do this, we are acting according to the instructions of God. Are you all in case when you start? Okay. Hebrews 13, verse 1 to 3. I said all this has come from Hebrews chapter 13, verse 1 to 3. You want to say in the Bible, you can be very deep. Who pray it and say, Oh, for the school where my name is on them, it has been a very good year for that. The money in there, ten for money, ten for day, a Korean for the end of the day. The money, they put it, ten for one for the day. Our second witness is from the letter of Paul to the Hebrews, chapter 13, reading from verse 1 to 3. Let brotherly love continue. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers. Therefore, for thereby some have entertained strangers on our way. Remember then that our
children there to destruct it. From St. Dom to the Chippewation, we didn't have a chapter for the top of the And this commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another, as I say, I love you, that ye also love one another. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have loved one to another. In the name of the Lord Jesus.
lot of people brag in the fact that they've been able to establish 20 churches, others boast and say they have baptized 500 persons at a go. Though all other, some other persons lay claim to a lot of other things which they say they have done. But I want to take that. Irrespective of these and other claims you make, whatever things you claim to have been done by you, it would amount to a great loss if you do not, if you do not love one another. So I mean, there are no people here who will not be able to understand what I am saying. So I'm going to be able to talk about it. Brethren, when people begin to boast and shout and exchange trees and trees for persons that have found that have done some wonderful faith, maybe they say somebody has died before they, and the other man caused him to rise from death. That's a blatant lie. He has not been able to do anything. He's not the one who has done it. Is it not God that has caused that man to rise from death? This preaching, is he not the one preaching? And these other miracles, is he not the one behind the screen doing everything? He is the one doing all the things you see. No man does anything. So, We have no intentions to take it further. The full witness will be drawn from Matthew chapter 12, verses 38 to 48. Brethren, you heard 
what it said to you, that it's only you who has this love which is the child of God and God. God has also told you that we should show the expression of love to every person at all times. Whatever boast you make, that you have a lot of money, you claim you have many children, you also claim you are beautiful or handsome, you have made a lot of other claims, also that you are knowledgeable or intelligent, you have a lot of wisdom in you, whatever, whatever of these and other claims you, you uphold makes no sense. It is knowledge, it is not on board. It's a bundle of emptiness. It's just like adding two zeros together and the result remains zero. So, you can you have to tell me to go? Amen. 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 Amen.